Hi, I'm Robert Jacobson, and I help people from all walks of life, both men and women, who struggle with drug and alcohol addiction, live the life that they were meant to live, which is happy, joyous, and free. Have you experienced some of these challenges in your life? You know, maybe you've tried to quit on your own and you found it to be impossible. It might work for a day or for a week or so, and then right back into the same habits and patterns in your life. What about finances? Has your addiction or your abuse of drugs and alcohol robbed you of finances, like maybe DUIs and attorney fees and, and we're supposed to pay a bill or something like that, not having the money available? What about family and friends? Have they might approached you and said, we think that you have a problem with drugs and or alcohol. We think that you need to get help. And you might have got angry or something and just rejected their help. You know, have you felt like isolated and alone and maybe even depressed? Like the, the abuse and the addiction has just sucked the life out of you and you don't have any energy anymore. What about your relationship with God? Do you feel like that's strained? You might even feel like God is mad at you. Well, you're not alone. Me too. And here's my story. I have battled drug and alcohol addiction for 25 years of my life. I've been in three inpatient treatment centers, two court-ordered treatment centers, and I was seeing an addiction counselor. At the time, I was married to my wife of 32 years, and she had just had it with my drug and alcohol abuse, and it ended up in divorce. My 17-year-old daughter had just completely written me off as her father. My life was in shambles, and I needed to find a solution. So here's a solution that I found. After trying to get clean and sober for so many years, I realized that I had never worked the 12-step program from start to finish. You know, I had worked steps one through four that I heard about in treatment, but I had never worked all 12 steps. And I had heard that the 12 steps had been around for about 70 years and that they were responsible for getting millions of people sober. But I just really didn't quite understand the 12 steps and, and uh, thought it might be too much work to, to really work them and go through all 12. And so I just thought to myself, too, you know, what can the 12 steps teach me that I don't already know? Well, there was a lot I didn't know, and obviously my plan wasn't working. So I made a commitment to want to start and work the 12 steps from beginning until end, and I thought, what I need is a sponsor or recovery coach, somebody that had actually gone through the 12 steps themselves, and they seen some results in their own life. They're living a life today that is happy, joyous, and free, and they're loving life in sobriety. That's who I wanted to get for a recovery coach. And so I did. And so he held my hand all the way through. We worked step one, we worked step two, and we worked all the way through the 12 steps. And what I found was that I was excited about the steps. There was principles and suggestions in each step, things that I could work on and apply to my life. And it was like, it was fun and exciting because I was learning about myself and I was seeing how my life would get better. And as each week went by, my life was getting better because I could apply the principles that I was learning. And it was like a revelation. It was like the missing piece of the puzzle that I really needed to get over to the other side to stay clean and sober. You know, the old school of treatment just isn't working anymore. And that is going in to a treatment center for 30 days, 60 days, or 90 days. The problem with that is, is that it's just too much money. And insurance companies are not paying for treatment anymore. Plus, time off from work and loss of wages just makes it impractical these days. The new school and the new trend in treatment uh, via technology and the Internet is to get all of your recovery online or having DVDs sent to your home and have home-based treatment right at your fingertips that you can access on your own schedule and your own time and something that you can have for life right there in the comfort of your own home. Here are some of the common mistakes that I found that people make when they want to start getting clean and sober. One is a lack of willingness. And you say willingness. That sounds so, so simple. And it does. But the thing is that people are just not willing to want to change. 
You know, we get very comfortable in our lifestyle. And the thought, even though that we're in pain and heartache, sometimes it's more comfortable to stay in the pain and heartache than it is to think about doing something new or changing our life. And so that fear will stop us, and we need to learn how to overcome that fear, and that's something that uh, I'm going to help you with. The second is, is that we think that we can do it on willpower. We think that if I'm just strong enough and I uh, change my ways and, you know, you know, I don't buy the six-pack of beer uh, on the way home and, you know, I just don't do that line of coke that, um, you know, I can be strong enough to quit and we just cannot quit on our own. Willpower cannot overcome something that actually has become bigger than we are. I have a little illustration I think is going to really punch the point. Let me show you a simple illustration on why willpower doesn't work anymore. Here's you and I, and here is our problem. Well, let's just say that, uh, let's use alcohol as a problem to begin with. You know, when I started out, you know, I was a social drinker. I mean, I get together with the guys on the weekend to watch football games or have a beer and fishing and things like that. But then I just never wanted the buzz to stop. And I moved from being a social drinker into a problem drinker where I started experiencing more problems in my life, like DUIs and things like that. And then there was a point where I kept drinking as a problem drinker. And then what happened was I crossed this invisible line. And I didn't know that I crossed this invisible line. And that's why they call it invisible line because we never know when we actually cross from being a social drinker into or from being a problem drinker into a full-blown alcoholic and the same with drugs a recreational drug user snort a little line here and there on the weekend and then pretty soon we're buying eight balls and then pretty soon we're a problem drug addict and then we move into a full-blown addict and we cross this invisible line and then it turns into an addiction and that addiction is bigger than we are and at that point we have lost the power of willpower we can no longer do it on our own our power is not powerful enough to overcome this addiction so what's the answer the answer is we need a power power greater than ourselves it's pretty sloppy handwriting, but a power greater than ourselves. We need something to take over addiction and something that we can yield to. And that's exactly what we need to do. When we yield to a power greater than ourselves, this power can then, we access that power to overcome this power, that our addiction. And that's what I'm going to teach you in this program is how to tap into that power greater than yourself. And that is really the secret to be able to overcome an addiction is to be able to yield, to surrender, and to access that power to fight your battles for you. I understand what you're going through. It's not easy to try to get clean and sober. There's a lot of challenges along the way. Believe me, I have walked a mile in your shoes. But I'll be covering the constant problems and challenges that we face, and we're going to do it together as we walk our new road to recovery. Here's what I want you to do next. Just enter your name and your email below to get more information on addiction recovery the right way. Well, this is Robert Jacobson signing off, and I look forward to seeing you on the other side.